Hello everyone, this is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst here at IronFX, bringing you the technical updates for the 5th of uh, August. Today I would like to update the technical outlook of uh, sterling dollar following the Bank of England's uh, decision. I would also like to talk about Euro and dollar ahead of the US uh, jobs data due out later today. So let's get the ball rolling with uh, sterling dollar. Cable tumbled on uh, Thursday after the Bank of England decided to cut its benchmark interest rate by 25 basis points and to expand its QE by 70 billion uh, pounds. The rate fell back uh, below 130 to 70 and then the decline was stopped uh, slightly above the 130-70 hurdle. Bearing in mind that uh, the rate is back within the sideways range between 130.70 and 130.270, I would uh, switch back to flat with regards to the short term outlook. A clear dip below 130.70 is needed to make in order to make me more confident on the downside, something that uh, may open the way, the way for our next support zone of 128.75. A solid US employment report today could be the catalyst for a break below 130.70. However, for now, our short term oscillators give evidence that a corrective bounce could be looming before the next uh, negative leg. The RSI rebounded from near its 30 line, while the MACD, although negative, shows signs that it could uh, turn up again. As for the bigger picture, the longer term trend still uh, looks negative. Nevertheless, I would like to see a clear close below 130.70 before assuming that the broader downtrend is uh, back in force. Now let's continue with uh, Euro dollar. This pair continued trading lower yesterday, but the slide remained limited uh, slightly above the 110, the 11110 uh, support zone. Then the pair rebounded somewhat. Given that on Wednesday the rate fell back below 111.85, I maintain my neutral stance with regards to the short term outlook. However, for now the pair could continue lower as today we get the US employment data and expectations are for a solid report. A dip below 111.10 is possible to open the way for our next support zone of 110.70. Looking at our short term oscillators though, I see signs that the corrective bounce could be on the cards ahead of the US employment data. The RSI turned up and could uh, move back above uh, 50 soon while the MACD shows signs that it could start bottoming near its uh, zero line. As for the bigger picture, as long as the pair is trading within the sideways range between 108 and 115, I would uh, maintain my, my flat stance as far as the longer term trend is concerned. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.